What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're having some fun with it. We're hopping back onto that Series 13 rank ladder, but using an off-meta Trick Room team that features weakness policy Rhyperior. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Before we get started here with today's team preview, got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Zane. Thank you so much for leaving this team on my Twitter page. I really appreciate you. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, head down link in the description below. There's a link to my Twitter down there. Either DM me or tweet at me your guys' rental codes. I love getting... uh fan-made teams and i love using them on youtube videos so like i just said if you guys do have teams make sure you send them my way but with that out the way let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only incinemore one of the best pokemon in all of uh ranked battles for sword and shield just ever since it was put into this game it's just been dominant in the meta it's got fake out foyer blitz darkest larry and parting shot then it's rocking leftovers and intimidate leftovers on incinemore i don't think i've ever used it that way but cannot wait to rock out with that pokemon Second Pokemon is going to be Calyrex over here. Ice Rider Calyrex with the As-1 ability, alongside with the White Herb as its item. It's got Protect, it's got High Horsepower, Seed Bomb, and Glacial Lance as its four moves. Middle left is going to be Rhyperior, and Rhyperior is just a king of Trick Room. I love this Pokemon. It's like an absolute truck, but its uh, special defense is rather low. It's got Solid Rock as its ability, then it has that Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Stone Edge, Heat Crash, Iron Head, and High Horsepower for a crazy awesome move set. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be one of our Trick Room setters. It is going to be Necrozma, alongside with the Prism Armor and the Lumberry as its item. It's got Sun Seal Strike, Rock Slide, then it's rocking Morning Sun and Trick Room for its final move. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Really good Dynamax, and it's just a great bulky Pokemon to set up Trick Room. Bottom left hand corner is going to be another Pokemon that is really strong in the Trick Room. It is going to be Torkoal over here. It's got Drought, alongside with that Choice Specs, and then it's got Solar Beam, Eruption, Protect, and Yawn. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Palkia over here. And Palkia is one of the most underrated restricted Pokemons in the game, I feel like. I feel like it's like just below being elite alongside with like Kyogre, Shadow Rider, Kylix, and Zacian, but it's just not at that level yet. So I feel like people will definitely undervalue its, uh, its damage output and its bulkiness at the same time. It's got Pressure and a Life Orb as item, and then the moveset is fairly straightforward with Spatial Ren, Hydro Pump, Earth Power, and Trick Room. But guys, there's the team preview. If you guys want to rent this code for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this off meta Series 13 Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team for Series 13. This guy is Raichu, Kyogre, Incineroar, Bronzong, Primarina, and Zacian. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We definitely got to pop Trick Room, but how can we pop a Trick Room? That's a real question. I feel like Palkia... Has got to be our Trick Room setter considering he has Kyogre, and Kyogre is rather annoying with all the water spouts. So I feel like Palkia is definitely our lead Pokemon. But uh, who else should we bring in here as a nice little lead? We could go Palkia alongside with... Uh, could go Calyrex. Calyrex does have Protect. could Protect turn one. But it really depends what he's going to go into because we all know the water spout can definitely do me dirty. So I might just go into Calyrex. Or I can go to Necrozma and then have options to either Dynamax Palkia or pop a Trick Room with Palkia, which I'm kind of liking. I kind of like that. You know, I am going to do that. I'm going to go in with the, these two. I'm going to bring Torkoal in the back end for weather control. Then last but not least, I'm going to have that lovely little Calyrex chilling here. Or I could go Incineroar. I could go Incineroar. Incineroar's not bad. I think I am going to go Incineroar. Just for sheer fact that he has a... Uh, Zacian is Zacian's kind of a pain. I'm going to go Incineroar here. Incineroar in the back end. Love it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below before battle number one even starts what do you guys think of the new pokemon belly bolt they just announced it they just like showcased it uh or they did just like showed a picture of it or had like a little video of it and it's a really cool pokemon it is a nice little electric frog i think and we didn't get to see the evolution yet but i feel like once we get to see its evolution i feel like it's gonna be a really cool pokemon so definitely let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below but he's gonna end up leading the double water squad the prima arena alongside with the uh the Kyogre, and I feel like we have to Dynamax and Quake, right? It makes the most sense, and I'm kind of scared because I don't know if... I do not know. Actually, I could do this. I could go Trick Room and just Hard Swap Weather. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I was going to Dynamax Palkia, but I'm just going to Hard Swap Weather. And I'm going to pop a Trick Room with Palkia, because I feel like Palkia should be able to eat up whatever whatever's going on here. So we are going to set this lovely little drought. 
this lovely little drown. If we can get off this uh, trick room, it could be huge for us. Because I can just start popping solar beams at this point. Water Spout is going to fly. To be able to circle pretty well. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Torkoal? Wait, what? Yo, Kyra is way too OP. Torkoal just drops out of that? Get out my face with that. 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 That was just the the, the, the dumbest thing i ever seen. Water spout in the sun takes out my turtle at full HP. Get, get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. But we're chilling here. We got pretty much full HP on the Palkia. We have Trick Room set up. We got Necrozma coming in here. And who do I want to Dynamax is a real question. Who does Jeans want to Dynamax here? Um, let me see some stats. Let me see some stats before we actually get rolling with this. Palkia probably hits harder, right? We got a special attack. 222. God dang, Palkia. Yeah. We're in Dynamax Palkia here. I think we get a bit more value out of it. So, Palkia, you are getting the Dynamax. I could go for a Quake, which I think I'm going to do. Just Quake right into the Kyogre. And at this point, just go into a Sun Shield Strike right into uh, Primarina. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Hopefully, he's not Dynamax into Kyogre and we can roll out pretty strong here. But, wow, I cannot believe my turtle went down in one shot there. I was thinking, okay, we should be able to soak up a Water Spout. We, we should be fine. And then uh, we pop a Trick Room. We get one more turn off with the turtle. Probably pop a Solar Beam and go from there. But no. But no, not even close. My dude just drops out instantly. I was like, yo, come on. What is this game? But it'd be like that sometimes. Definitely be like that. He's going to pop a Hyper Boys, which I'm totally cool with. That's really not doing too much damage onto my Pokemon. Thing is orbed. And that's actually crazy that Primarina is slower than the Crows from here. Primarina is a slow little seal. But we're going to Sun Seal Strike right into it. Send it that way. Bob, does that KO? It does not KO, but we get a special defense boost here. We're going to be able to do a decent amount of damage over onto the Kai Ogre, and we can roll off from there. So, awesome. More than half, which is perfect. I might just go for another one next turn and take it out, or I could go for a warm one, but I feel like we should just go straight for a uh, Quake here. Special defense boost is better than anything. Origin Pulse comes out here. I can't believe he's dropping Origin Pulse. Palkia Dodges, Necrozma should be able to serve pretty well, and we're rolling out pretty strong here. So, from here, we're just going to go for another Quake. Bang, do that, and then uh, we go for a Morning Sun. We could go for a Morning Sun and just leave Primarina on the field. I think now would be the time to go for a Morning Sun, right? We got the Heat out here. I'm all about it. Or I could Sun Seal Strike, which I think I'm just going to Sun Seal Strike here. And maybe Morning Sun next turn, because I feel like the only Pokemon he has that's slower than my Necrozma is going to be that Primarina right there. He ends up protecting the Primarina. Okay, are you double protecting? I could have Morning Sun here. That would have been a great call. He's going to double protect, isn't he? Okay, so he double protects. He's just wasting out my uh, Dynamax turns. I guess I'm fine with that. Uh, if I would have Morning Sun there, that would have been perfect. would have been perfect. would have money plays. We're going to end up Max Quaking. Special Defense is going through the roof. And I can Quake again next turn just to get that stat boost. Just to get that stat boost. But there's that. Sun Shield Strike's going to get blocked. Actually, it already got blocked. And... We're just losing some HP. Okay. What other Pokemon does he have in the back end? He has a Levitate Bronzer. I don't think he brought the Bronzer. I'm not even going to lie. He would have swapped in that years ago, right? He could have actually saved the Kyogre. He could definitely save the Kyogre, but I don't think he has a lot to swap into. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to Sun Shield Strike on top of that again. Just same turn. I just feel like that's our play. Yeah, he's going to stay in here with these Pokemon. He's going to drop a Moon Blast. A Moonblast, which I'm surprised he didn't do before. And of course, of course he gets a special attack drop. That's just so ugly. Might swap my Palkia in a little bit. Actually, I don't know. He's boosting special defense. That's going to be close. But I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to have to pop another Trick Room very soon. But Sunshine Strike comes out here. We take out Primarina, and we're going to be able to take out Kai over here. So if I had to guess, he has his Ascian in the back end. Right? And that's when I might swap for the Palkia. It's just swap into the Incineroar. And maybe pop another Trick Room. Hmm. I could actually, if there's one more turn left in Trick Room, I could predict the Protects and double Trick Room here. I have two Pokemon out here with Trick Room. It's definitely an option. It's definitely an option. But I think we only have one more turn left in Trick Room. I think we are down to our final turn. So he's going to go into, is this Incineroar? It's going to be Incineroar. He's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. Um, huh. And then his next Pokemon is going to be Zassian, right? Yeah. So the real question is, who's he going to fake out? Who are you going to fake out? I mean, again, I kind of hard swap here. Hard swap would be nice. Hard swap would be nice. 
I mean, he's going to have to Dynamax Incineroar, right? Does he fake me out? Do I go for a double Trick Room here? How many turns is left in Trick Room? One. I think best bet would be get my attack off of me or that attack drop, swap into you, and then just drop like a Rock Slide or even go for a Sun Strike Strike and Zacian here. Even though Zacian is going to be protecting, I feel like Zacian has to protect here. Hmm. Thinking of double trick him, but now I'm just gonna go for Morning Sun, try to get his HP back. Let's see what he does. He's gotta protect Zacian, right? Knowing that trick him's out. Maybe this is just an easy swap for us. So we're gonna swap Incineroar. I might swap him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just try to get off as many Intimidates as I can. I think we can get a lot of value out of that. So I'm swapping to Palkia. We're gonna get out lovely little Incineroar here. We're gonna go from there. We are gonna roll off from here. But I wonder what his Incineroar is doing. I feel like this assassin has got to protect, right? Makes the most sense. Or he could be going for a player off into the Palkia slot. We'll see. He goes for a fake out, right? Into... There you go. That's totally fine. And Morning Sun's going to come out here. We're going to get some HP. The good thing I didn't go for a double trick. It would have just been a waste of a turn. We Morning Sun. We get some HP back here. We go back to the full. And he's going to end up going for a Behemoth Blade into... Who are you going into a Behemoth Blade for? Palkia slot? No, into Necrozma. Chris must soak that up all day. Okay, uh, I think I just try to get off the parting shot here. Surprised he hasn't Dynamax. Maybe he just doesn't want to Dynamax in Cinnamon just yet. But I gotta go for this trick in here, right? Oh, I got leftovers. I totally forgot, yo. Leftovers in Cinnamon were rolling out strong. <laughs> leftovers in Cinnamon were rolling out strong. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna go for the parting shot. I'm just gonna try to set up another trick room. I mean, Sun's gone. The Sun is gone. Maybe I should have parting shot into his Incineroar. Just for sheer fact, is if he, if he Dynamaxes, he can flare into my Necrozma. And it could do some big damage, but we do have Prism Armor, so it makes me feel like we can actually soak up a shot. It's a solid first battle. It's a great first battle. It's a great first battle, but if I can get off this party shot, or more importantly, this Trick Room, we should be able to win this. Player off comes out here, we soak. He goes for a Flare Blitz. That should be in the Necrozma slot, right? And you should be able to eat that. Oh, all day, baby. All day. That should be GG's. Pretty much GG's. We're going to set up a Trick Room again. We're going to Parting Shot. Oh my god, I love this game. We're killing it in this battle. And it's looking really good for us. It's looking really good for us. The thing is, he has a Dynamax. I don't know if he wants to use it, though. Right? He didn't use his Dynamax yet. He had Kyogre and Primarina out there turn one. And look at all my Pokemon. Middle of the HP bar. But we're going to get after it right here, right now. Right, bring out Palkia. Do I force a Hydro Pump? Do I go for a Hydro Pump? I think we got to go for a Hydro Pump. I think we gotta pump it. I think we gotta get pumping here. Mmm, pump it up. We gotta pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> that song's been stuck in my head. <laughs> Actually, when I'm out on like that, uh, on the hockey rink, I'm always singing it in like warm ups and just playing. I don't know why. It's like my go to song just to sing to in warm ups. I don't know why. I do not know why, but it's hilarious. We're gonna Sun Shield Strike. We're gonna drop a little Hydro Pump action. We're gonna roll off from there. He's gonna end up protecting Zassian. I'm cool with that as long as this Hydro Pump lands onto this Incineroar. Gonna go for a Darkest Lariat, which I KO me? I don't know. No, we soak. We soak rather well. Sun Seal Strike's gonna miss. Let me connect this pump that is full of hydros. I love you, Palkia. This might even KO. Stab, super effective, life orb. Take him out, please. See you later. Get him on out of here. There it is. There it is. Big time plays from us. I could hard swap the uh the crows one, which I might want to do here. I just might want to do. But we're just going to go for an Earth Power. I'm just going to roll into a Sun Shield Strike. Definitely my best bet. Run it up. This guy, I think, just cancels battle. Yep, he cancels battle, and we go 1-0 to get things started. We're going up against some crazy cool off-meta teams in today's video. Right now, we're going up against a Sceptile and Charizard team. It also features Zamazetta, Dragapult, and DD and Titar. Definitely want to get Rhyperior out here in this battle. I think I'm going to lead Rhyperior, maybe protect it turn 1, and then pop a Trick Room with either Palkia or Necrozma. Seems like our best bet, right? I'm kind of leaning more towards Palkia here, which gets a lot more value. And then we bring Torkoal in the back end. And then last but not least, we roll out with Incineroar because Incineroar is Incineroar. And that Pokemon is amazing. So we're going to rock out with that. And Incineroar did come in clutch in the uh, last battle. Came in the back end. If we didn't have him, we probably would have lost that battle. The Intimidate came out there. The Parting Shot, everything worked perfectly. Allowed us to set up another Trick Room late in the game. 
and grab ourselves that victory. But yeah, we're going up against some crazy cool teams today, probably because we are on the casual ladder. And the reason I am on the casual ladder right now is because I cannot find any ranked battle. I guess nobody wants to play ranked series 13. I tried six times, I think it was, and it takes like three minutes to search and six times three, 18 minutes. That, that's, a, that's a good amount of time that I just wasted there. <laughs> that is a good amount of time that I just wasted. So I was just like, screw it. Let's hop on the casual ladder. Let's have some fun with it today. We are actually having some fun with it considering we're coming up against very cool teams very cool teams but look at this he goes dragon Ball and he goes with uh subtile and i just feel like this is an easy protect for my right here and then we can roll out with a uh with the trick room i really do like that so oh i don't have protect do not have protect this might be an easy swap for me but swap i mean physical attackers i think we swap here swap pop trick room yeah all day yeah i i thought i thought maybe we had protect i thought we had protect i was just like this is gonna be an easy protect but yeah if i stay in there and septile goes for any type of grass move in the right here he is dead four times super effective he's gonna get washed he's gonna get smacked up on but we're hoping that this septile is physical attacking and maybe this dragon pole does not have clear body maybe he has infiltrator that would be amazing but if i had to guess it, it definitely has clear body right yeah clear body so strong on it it's such a good ability and he uses it to its advantage. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing a Pokemon. And I'm kind of hoping this is Sceptile. Because you don't really get to see a lot of Dynamax Sceptiles in uh, in online battles. But it is going to be... Yes, it is going to be Sceptile. Now we're kind of hoping it's Physical Attack. And if I had to guess, it's got to be going for a Grass Move into that Rhyperior slot. This could be a really good swap from us. This could be a beautiful swap from us. The Dragapult goes for Infestation. No shot. Is this policy? It's policy. It's policy. Policy septile coming out here and probably unburdened, so speed's gonna go up. But again, please go for the Incineroar slot now. Not the Palkia. Cool. Great swap from us. We played it really well. We're able to eat, even though that did a huge chunk of damage. So he ends up doing that. We're gonna end up going into a trick room, and turn one goes in our favor, even though he did a really cool combo and it looks awesome. But yo, look how dope Septile looks. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So cool. I absolutely love its Mega Evolution, too. But, yo, this uh, Leftovers and Cinnamon is actually surprising me. It's getting back some mean HP in today's video. Look at that. We got the Grassy Train out here. We got the Leftovers. And we're rolling out pretty strong. But I can drop an easy Flare Blitz in the Sceptile if I want to. And that thing's taking some Infestation damage. I feel like he definitely should have had better moves that should go into that. But, hmm, what should I do here? I feel like it's just an easy Flare Blitz. Or I can party shot out. No, it's an easy Flare Blitz here. Easy fire butts into a spatial run into Dragon Pulse slot. It's just easy plays. But I really want him to take out my uh my Incineroar or one of my Pokemon just so I get out Torkoal. Because everybody knows Torkoal is one of the best Pokemon in Trick Room. Especially at full HP, it just starts dropping eruptions, doing crazy damage. It's kinda like the uh it's kinda like the Sun Kyogre when you get him in Trick Room. That's the problem with Kyogre. You don't need to set up Trick Room, you don't need to do anything. He just rolls into battle, hits a water spout, and dominates everybody. There's no fire Pokemon like that with high speed that can set drought and have eruption at the same time. But we go for a nice little flare blitz, do a huge chunk of damage on Sceptile. Special Men's can come out here. I'm pretty sure this is Chaos here. Dragapult, no problem. Yep, get them on out of here. And we're rolling out strong. We get that crit, but that move does have a high chance of critting. So I'm not going to say I'm lucky. And regardless, I think it was taking them out. It's just such a high damage move with the stab, super effective, and then life orb on top of that. But he ends up going for Knuckle. That might KO me. And it does, and I'm totally fine with that because I get to bring out the one and only Torkoal. Or I can bring out Rhyperior and Dynamax. What do I want to do here? I feel like it's time to bring out Torkoal. I feel like Torkoal can just sweep this game. I feel like Torkoal can just finish everything off, right? Just eruptions in the trick room. It's just free kills, and then we have Palkia to clean up anything else. And it's choice spec. Oh my god, I forgot it was choice spec. <laughs> I forgot this turtle was choice spec, so he's just going to be able to steamroll everything. So he's got a stab eruption move. He's got it in the drought. And then he's got choice specs on top of that. And it's super effective on the both these guys. And it's super effective on them. It's GG's. It's game over. See you later. Torkoal's just going to be running this. It's Dauntless Shield. You can have your defense boost. I'm a special attacker. Well, actually, both of us are special attackers. But Eruption says good game. Oh, well, it's not super effective on Zacian. Or well, not Zacian. Zamzeta. Probably because it doesn't have its thing. So I'm just going to double down into it. Wait, what typing is this? What typing is this Zamazetta? I always get the typings mixed up when they're not holding their thing. He's just fighting, okay? He's not steel. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna special run right into it. So I'm just gonna double down into it. Pretty much say GG's. The eruption still might even KO. 
Hold up. Wait a minute. This thing's rocking wide guard. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of it. Leave me alone. I didn't even think of that. Wide guard coming in hot. Wide guard coming in hot. Special man's gonna drop here. Probably should half its health, right? More than half. That's beautiful. That is lovely. And what are you going for, Septile? You're going for Oh yo, Septile's killing here. Septile's on the board here. Are we going to Palkin? What are you doing? What are you doing? I might lose this one. I don't know. Do I Dynamax Torkoal here? I feel like I have to Dynamax Torkoal. Right? I feel like I have to Dynamax Torkoal. Because what other Pokemon could he have in the back end? Trick Room's almost over. Hmm. I think it really depends how many turns are left in Trick Room. What do I do here? I got, I got, I got to weigh out my options. Definitely got to weigh out my options. So how many turns left in Trick Room? We have two. Okay, we have two. And what Pokemon do we think is going to be in the back end? Probably, maybe Charizard? I mean, I feel like we're fine without Dynamax, right? I feel like we force another wide guard out from him. He doesn't go for a wide guard, he's dead. But who should I take out? Uh, I'm gonna take out the Sceptile. Actually, I'm just gonna take out the Zombazetta because we get another turn left in Trick Room. Just for another wide guard, that's fine by me. I'm choice into Eruption anyway. I have to go for it. I have to go for it. I'm choice into it. But we're gonna take out Zombazetta here. Um, Sceptile's gonna go next, and I wonder who he's gonna KO. I do wonder who you're gonna KO, kind sir. The special man comes out here at Zamazeta. Get on out of my game. <gasps> what you mean? Yo, what? He survives on one kind of ruins my whole day. Ah, dude. Hate this game. Uh, you think he's going for another wide guard? He could. I mean, he could. He could go for another wide guard here. Kind of annoying. I mean, I don't mind him going for wide guard. He's just wasting turns. Like, he's not doing much with his Amazetta. My pack is outspeeding. That hurts, though. But yeah, we're just going to go for another eruption. We're choice into that. And I'm just going to spatial run right into the Sceptile slot. Should be able to take out Sceptile, I feel like. And we have a high crit chance. But I wonder if he's going to go for another wide guard. I wonder if he's going to do it. He doesn't know we're choice into this, so... He might be thinking that I'm not going for another eruption, uh, and he does. He just goes straight for the wide guard. So <laughs> wide guard is just coming in hot right now. Eruption comes out here. It's getting the double block. Yo, wide guard's so good. It's such a good move. Space Run comes through. Can we KO the Sceptile, please? Let's get that crit. Cool, we take him out. Was that a crit? It wasn't even a crit. Okay, so cool. We get rid of Sceptile. He gone, and I could try to pop it in the Trick Room. I could indeed try to pop another trick room. I mean, this Zamazet is kind of locked. He's in lock right now. If he doesn't go for a wide guard, we send an eruption right through his mitt. So he's left over. He has the grass stream. He's getting back some decent HP, but I wonder who his final Pokemon is. Is it Charizard? I feel like it's Charizard or Titar at this point, right? Charizard Titar makes a lot of sense. But I do have still Dynamax. And I don't know. I think I'll save it for Rapier. Titar comes out here. Okay, I'm cool with Titar. I am totally fine with Titar coming out here. He sets up the Sandstream. I can drop a nice lovely Hydro Pump into that. And I feel like I just... Eat. I have to erupt. Right? Yeah, eruption. And I'm going to go for a straight Hydro Pump. Right in the Titar's mitt. The long drawn out second battle right here. But we're looking pretty good. Again, we still have Dynamax. We're looking pretty nice here. And he's going to end up coaching here. He's dropping Rock Slizzle. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary. Can he miss a Rock Slide? Oh, Palkia out. Speed! KO, Palkia. KO Palkia, this is your match. Oh my god, is this thing sashed? He's sashed! <laughs> this thing's sashed! Get him out of here! He's sashed. He's gonna Stone Edge after a coach. And that's actually really good to know. That uh, Palkia outspeeds that T-Tar. So now we bring out my Rhyperior and I'm 100% Dynamax because I'm not losing this battle. I refuse to lose this battle. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, our opponent's playing pretty well. Playing really well. We'll go into my period here. We still have weakness policy. And I feel like Titar has to go. I feel like Zamazetta can't really do too much besides coach. But I feel like we just double down on Titar at this point. Dynamax. And we get a defense boost at the same time. And we'll just go into an Earth Power. 
I'm doubling down right into the C-Tar. Not playing around. Not playing around. Not playing around right now. So the Dynamax comes out here. We're looking to grab ourselves or guarantee ourselves a winning record for today's video. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do right here. It'll be Dynamax. It probably got to the point where he probably thought that I didn't have Dynamax. It's nothing's worse than when that happens to you. When you're just playing and you totally forget that they still have Dynamax and it's late in the battle. And then they finally Dynamax. You're just like, dude, what just happened? I totally forgot about that. But he ends up wild charging. Which is totally fine. This is why I doubled down into the... Uh, Titar, he's gonna body press, which does like three damage and pops my weakness policy. Thank you very much. So he pops my policy. We're going for overkill right now, considering this thing's on one HP. We still spike into Titar. It's GG. Zamazeta cannot kill us, and we're just gonna dump on it next turn. G to the G's. G to the G's, baby. See you later, Titar. I love you though. Titar is such a cool Pokemon. And Zamazeta gets buffeted by. The sandstorm and then leftovers long second battle though long second battle hope you guys are enjoying hope you guys just like watching my videos and hanging out with me really just go a long way but we're just gonna end up dropping max quake here we're gonna say good game here but i think our opponent canceled battle right correct he does not he's gonna stay in here he's gonna drop an iron head that does four and a half damage and we're gonna drop a nice little quake and we're gonna bow down because we just won this battle thank you very much for coming out we're two and oh let's hop into that third and final battle let's grab ourselves a perfect record Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. And I think this team was very strong back in like series 10 or 11. So I'm going to try since he has no restricted mods. I'm going to try to use the less amount of or like I'm going to try not to use my uh, restricted mods. But I'm going to have to use one. I'm going to have to use one. So we're definitely using Incineroar, Rhyperior, and Torkoal. And we're going to try to use one. And it's probably going to be Necrozma here. But I would say he's the worst out of the other one. So I'm going to go Necrozma. And he's the Trick Room Setter. And I'm going to go Incineroar. And I'm just going to go Rhyperior and Torkoal and try to roll up the battle from there. So that's going to be my lead. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. And grab ourselves a perfect record. But I wonder who he's going to lead here. He has a lot of different options. This team definitely seems like it's Series 10 slash Series 11 team. But I feel like I used it before. I used so many teams in Sword and Shield. I think I've recorded over 600 videos for you guys. Which absolutely blows my mind. It just gets me super excited for uh, Scarlet and Violet to grind out that game and play something new. Plus, I know you guys are definitely going to enjoy the Scarlet and Violet uh, ranked battles content. Considering there's going to be so many new Pokemon that we have never showcased in ranked battles. So, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. And there's going to be a lot of new viewers who come in here who I'm super excited to uh, have join the Jeans community. So, it's going to be awesome. It's definitely going to be awesome. But, yo, I like this dude's trainer card. Look at him in the top left corner <laughs> of his card or top right corner. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. But I think he's going to end up leading like Tornadus, right? Maybe Incineroar. Let's see. Tornadus and Incineroar. Okay. That's fair. I mean, this is just an easy trick. Ooh, this is not an easy trick. I mean, we do, we do get off a nice little Intimidate. But I am scared of the... What's I am definitely scared of the... Uh, what's it called? Coming in hot. The G-Max Fireball into my Necrozma. Could potentially take me out. But we did Intimidate him, which is huge. I'm going to go for a Trick Room. And I think I just fake it out. I think Cinderace is Dynamaxes, so I think I just figured out the Tornadus here. Right, probably my best bet. I could have party shot into Cinderace, but I think we're going to save our party shot for next turn. Again, I think he Dynamaxes, but he just might not do that Intimidate. That kind of holds me off from Dynamaxing sometimes. It's when my Pokemon gets Intimidated, and he does not Dynamax. So I think we're fine with setting up this Trick Room. I think we're chilling here. He's going to U-turn out, and switch his typing to Bug. So he's out of here. Smart play by him. He's going to swap typing. Gonna be able to eat that up and trick room comes out from us. So that's a huge turn from us. I dig that turn all day. But smart play by him. He gets off that intimidate. We're gonna probably party shot our Incineroar out of here. Also, whoever po or whatever Pokemon he throws out next, which might even be a Gyarados intimidate, right? Now he's gonna go into his intimidate Incineroar. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So he intimidates a few of my physical attackers. And I can just drop Rock Slide. I can party shot out. I'm gonna bring out Torkoal after this. And we're gonna get rolling. Because Torkoal's the man. I could bring out Rhyperior. Rhyperior pretty much sweeps us. Super effective on the Cinerace. Super effective on the uh, Tornadus and Incineroar. But I want to get out Torkoal here. I want to use Torkoal a bit more. Considering he got wide guarded all game. Last battle. All game. Like four, three or four eruptions were just wide guarded. I was a little upset at that. Because I, I was I was ready to sweep out that battle up, up against those Pokemon. <laughs> a party shot out of here. We are going to bring out the Sun. The lovely little sun and uh 
I mean, this could do us dirty because if he is going for a Fire Blitz into my Necrozma can do more damage, but I feel like we're fine. Maybe he's going for a Hurricane with Tornados and this could actually make it miss too. Well, let's see what he does. He goes for a Parting Shot, not into my Torkoal. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. You can Parting Shot all day. And go back into Cinerase. I'm dropping rocks. I'm dropping rocks. I'm hoping to get some crits here. But Necrozma might have to be swapped for Rhyperior, which would be smart. And then I could just straight up be option. He goes into Gyarados. He goes into Gary. Gary. Gary the Gyarados. Then he comes out here. Dude, Necrozma's on like minus three already in a matter of seconds. The Rock Slide comes out here. Maybe we get a flinch onto Tornadas. We do. Lovely. Beautiful. Awesome. Now's the perfect time to say see you later, Necrozma. We're going to go into Incineroar here. And then just pop these big time eruptions all around the field, which he might Dynamax Gyarados here. But if he does, we're intimidating him. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. So Necrozma's going to get the swap here. We're going to swap into uh, Incineroar. And we're going to roll off in there. Bump, bump, bump. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax because this, this can still do some good damage onto Gyarados here. So lots of Intimidates coming out here. He has Incineroar and Gyarados. We have Incineroar of our own. And I wonder if he's Dynamaxing. He does not. So he roughly comes out here, taking out Tornadas 100% and doing some crazy damage to Gyarados. But solid. Solid, solid, solid. And what's Gary going for? He's going to go for an EQ. Wow. That's actually a powerful EQ right there. Luckily, it's not Stab. So you can still chill out here. So we have Fake Out ready to roll. I feel like he brings out Incineroar of his own and I just Fake it out. Hmm. Right, Incineroar's got to come out here. Where's he going to go Cinderace? I feel like we might throw him a curveball if he goes Incineroar. He does go Incineroar. Do I Dynamax Torkoal here? And just take out Gyarados? I feel like that's got to be the play. I feel like that's got to be the play, right? Huh. I feel like this has got to be the play. Let's do it. Let's do it right here. We're going to throw him a curveball. We're throwing him a curveball. We're Dynamax the Torques. We are Dynamax in the Torkoal. Obviously, we can save our Rhyperior here and easily win this battle if we just save the Dynamax for Rhyperior. But I want to have some fun with you guys. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's throw a curveball. Let's get the turtle to grow into a tortoise. Look at him. Look at my dude. Big time turtle getting after it. Love how he constantly has that steam cloud or one more that heat cloud. Just chilling there. Our HP flies up. We go to 197. Which is pretty solid. And from here, we're just going to fake out his Incineroar so he doesn't fake out us. And this thing has a eject button. Okay, cool. And he's going to pop into Cinderace. That's fine. So I think this Overgrowth can KO pretty easily. Onto this Gyarados. But I'm not 100% sure. Because it's not Stab. But I think it should KO, right? It did. The least amount of damage I have ever seen. I have ever seen. Torkoal, what are you doing? <laughs> Torkoal, you're better than that. He's going to waterfall. We soaked that all day. And I might just hard swap. Or not hard swap. Parting shot out. I feel like I have to parting shot out here. I feel like I have to parting shot, right? Yeah, we're going to parting shot in the Cinderace. Feels in Sonora. Sucks, man. Sucks. Yeah, we're just gonna party shot here. Some Necrozma. I didn't realize it's some Necrozma. And now this overgrowth should be able to KO with a terrain boost. But I feel like he might just Dynamax Cinderace. Wow, we're having some solid battles here. On the casual ladder. These are really close battles. Obviously, I definitely could have won this battle with uh, Calyrex and Palkia. It would have been pretty simple. <laughs> simple and straightforward. Wait, which all scared us? Which was such a smart play, and I don't know why I Dynamax Torkoal. I thought he would do more damage than that. Now, now, now it makes me look stupid. <laughs> it makes me look stupid. Because, like I said, we had, we had uh, what's called ready to roll. Rhyperior. Rhyperior has a move that is super effective on all these guys, and I would have just teed off on all of them. Now I part and shot. I say see you later, and I get to go into my lovely little Rhyperior here. Or do I just go into Necrozma? I think we should go on the Rhyperior. Uh, Rhyperior. Rhyperior. 
Because I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which I would like to use. I probably should have went to Necrozma and just pop another Trick Room. But my Peter's coming out here. He's going to U-turn out. And he's going to switch the bug. He's going to get after me. Leave my Rhyperior alone. So he's going to probably fake out my Rhyperior next turn. Gets off another Intimidate, which is so annoying. Actually, yeah, it is. He has Gyarados. Ah. Tough, tough, tough. Tough and annoying. Like, I feel like we're going to win this battle, but I hate when it goes long and drawn out. I mean, obviously, he fakes me out here, right? And I feel like we swap at this point. He's faking me out nine times out of ten. So annoying. <laughs> I, I feel like I just I feel like a flare should be able to kill Gyarados, right? I feel like a flare should be able to kill Gyarados. Do we go into these moves? I'm just gonna swap into Sonora. You wanna play annoying? I'll play annoying all day. I'm going into a flare into this Gyarados. I'm taking him out. Flare should be able to take out Gyarados. Sick of this sick of this game. <laughs> The long drawn out battles annoy me, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes they're good, but at this point where it's just like intimidating going left back and forth. It's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> so he pulls the Dynamax trigger finally, and this is huge for us considering we just got off an intimidate. But I, th I feel like we're fine. I feel like we're fine with this battle. We still have Necrozma in the back end. Player's not gonna KO this thing anymore, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> But he's definitely going into the guys are change up weather, right? He's gonna punch shot, aren't you? Don't fake me out, okay. That guy comes out of here. And guys are gonna fly. So he changes up weather. Cool with that. Is that into the Torkoal? It's in the Torkoal. The Torkoal eats rather well. He changes weather, and we're just gonna change it right back, which is very beneficial for us. <laughs> very, very be beneficial for us. So we go into the fire here. We send in it. And it does like three damage. But more importantly, we change weather back. Man, this battle's annoying. This battle is annoying. Leftovers, or not leftovers. Uh, Grass Strain coming out here. If I had like Palkia or something, we could just steamroll this battle. <laughs> but I should have saved my Dynamax for right here. But guess what? You guys get extra content now. The battle is a lot longer than it should have been. Torkoal's Dynamax ends. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, he's probably gonna try to take out my Torkoal this turn, which is totally fine. I don't really need Torkoal anymore. I feel like I just double down to this guy just try to get rid of him, so he can't swap anymore. Am I choice yet? I am choice to an eruption. Kind of sad. Kind of sad, but I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy just. I wonder what Gyarados is gonna go for. I think he party shots me, which is gonna be so annoying. Please don't party shot me. Just leave me alone. Let's play the game. He hard swaps. I mean, you could have parted shot. Get speed all day. So now he's gonna fly through here. It's totally fine. And he's gonna go for a geyser yet again. Can you take out my Torkoal, please? I want my Torkoal dead. He does not have enough gas in the tank to take out my turtle. The turtle's gonna do no damage. I'm hoping that this eruption and Dark Slayer should be able to KO. Okay, Torkoal, if you cannot KO here, it's embarrassing. Good work, Torkoal. Good work, Turtle. So actually, thank God my Turtle didn't die. Big plays from our Turtle. I can just straight up party shot out here. Bring out uh, Necrozma. Get up a free Trick Room. Because I kind of like this weather now. So he has Fire Pokemon out on the field. <laughs> so do I. We both have Fire Pokemon out on the field. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. But, yeah, I'm just going to party shot here. Simple play. Get out my Pier. Start dropping some rocks. Or I can get out Necrozma. I think I get out in a Necrozma would be a lot, a lot more beneficial. Or I could party shot and swap the Torkoal. Options, options, options. I think we do. I think we party shot and swap the Torkoal. Oh my god, the amount of stat drops in this game? Obnoxious. Let's start playing all day. We're going to swap these guys out. We need to get rolling. This battle is so annoying. Cannot believe this guy stayed in here this long. Because the only reason I'm staying in here this long is because I'm recording. <laughs> if, if I was not recording, I would have left this battle six hours ago. Would have left it six hours ago. This guy's really dedicated, especially three years into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Nah, I would have been like, dude, I'm done with this. <laughs> but he's going to end up going for Fake Out. That's totally fine. 
faked out the wrong target, little booger, and then headbutts can come to the rear. And he's changing typing. I need to eat this up in Sonora. Oh, it's going into Crispa. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. I'm fine with that. Fire shot comes out here. Going into right here, and we're rolling out strong. Pretty much GG's, right? I mean, I can just start dropping high horsepower. So we're going to take out the Incineroar this turn. Gonna pop a trick room at the same time. It's over with. It is over. We played it slow. We played it long. We played it drawn out. We're going to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's game. I don't think he could take out my... I don't think he could take out my Hyperion one shot. I don't think you can. I don't, I don't think you have it in you. And I still have Incineroar in the back end if I want to hard swap. The smart play would obviously be like hard swap into uh, Incineroar, but... I feel like we're fine. My period is rather bulky on the physical side. So I'm going to drop a high horsepower into this thing. And I'm going to just pop a trick him. I mean, I probably should just rock slide. But finally, our opponent cancels the battle. There it is. Perfect record for us. What a set of battles for today's video. Probably one of my longer videos in Sword and Shield. Definitely went the distance. All three battles went pretty long. But hey, we grabbed ourselves a perfect record. And we got to showcase this team to its fullest potential. Want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Zane for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I absolutely love it. Everything about it was super, super fun. And we got to showcase every single Pokemon on this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots of your day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.